Right now at 5, thousands of students learn their school is shut down. ITT Technical Institute announced today that it has permanently closed all 130 campuses across the nation. Yeah, and that decision follows a decision by the federal government that put restrictions on the school. Ricky Mitchell, live at Greenfield campus with more on what happens to these students. Ricky. Greenfield, this, uh, this campus served about 250 students who were supposed to start a new quarter this month, and now they're left to figure out a new plan. I am furious. Lena Dremel spent the last year at ITT Tech working toward a degree in drafting and design. But this morning, she says she received an email saying the school was closed. I'm in shock and I'm still reacting. Um, I've got to make some plans. I've got to do some research. I've got to find out what I can do if it's even possible to transfer my credits now. According to a press release, the school has permanently closed following sanctions placed on it by the U.S. Department of Education, barring the school from accepting students who use federal financial aid. When they lose that ability, now you have only the ability for students to come who can pay out of pocket. And in higher education this day and age and in the community we live in, our students just can't do that. Trevor Kubatsky says the Milwaukee Area Technical College is welcoming all ITT Tech students to find out if they can transfer to a program there. They have financial aid advisors and counselors waiting to work with students one on one and say they offer credit for both prior learning and work experience. So really trying to put a package together for them so that they now have a new plan because that's really what they're missing. Their plan is now gone. It's reprehensible what the Department of Education has done. ITT Tech, in my opinion, has done nothing wrong. And they're ruining lives over this. Now, MATC has set up a special email address and a special phone number for any students from ITT Tech who want to learn more about that school. We put that information at TMJ4.com. And we also spoke with a financial aid advisor for any students who used financial aid or student loans and are in this mess right now. We'll tell you what they can do coming up tonight at 6. For now, we're reporting live in Greenfield. Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. I really feel bad for those students. Thank you very much, Ricky.